Hello, Brass Band viewers. Again, we're here in Brisbane, and I've got Bill from Brisbane Excelsior. Bill, how are you? Really well, thank you. It's good. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for taking the time. How's Excelsior going? Last Nationals you guys competed at was 2010, was that right, in Hobart? Was, yes. And you guys won that one there. Yep. What's the feeling like for Nationals 2012? Oh, we're feeling quite confident. Yeah, the band's been rehearsing well. Good. See how we go this afternoon. Yeah. Um, with rehearsals, do you guys rehearse sort of once or twice a week, or do you have like a really intense block just before the contest? Uh, we've, we've had a rehearsal schedule, which has been probably for most people once to twice a week, because you'll have a full band rehearsal and you'll have an upper half or a lower half, and yep. so sort of somewhat flexible, but it's it's a schedule that's planned. Excellent. And you've got all the key seats filled up okay? You've got the right players showing up? Yeah. Excellent. Looks good. No problems with that. What are you playing for your own choice? Um, Can I ask that question? It's, it's okay if it's a secret. I know that uh, Q-Band Melbourne is trying to keep a secret what they're playing for their own choice. So don't give anything away if you don't. <laughs> it's Rococo Variations. Okay, and is the band enjoying that? Does it sound good or is it one of those sort of weird new age works that's a bit hard to follow for the audience? It's It's... Not a lot going for for percussionists. You know, we'd probably want to be a little bit busier, but um, parts of it sound quite interesting. And I think most of the band enjoy it. Excellent. That's really good. Now, Fab, you guys did really well there. Unfortunately, it's not on again this year. Do you know anything about what happened with Fab? Why it's not on? Uh, there, any were, there, were, there were problems with the with the venue, from what I heard. And yeah. when um, went to get booked for this year, apparently it wasn't available for the right weekend. So. It's a big shame there. Fingers crossed it comes back pretty soon. Yeah, it's because nice, it's a great competition. Yeah, it is. Uh, now, people sort of talk about Excelsior because Excelsior's done really, really well over the past five or six years now. Um, and I guess out there, there can be a little bit of a perception that Excelsior's spending all this money to get in really fantastic players and fly them in and, you know, this and that and the other. Is there, is, there, is there any truth in that? Or, you know, what's the story with Excelsior? We, we haven't got the money to do that. <laughs> so you've, ju happen. you've just got your band showing up week in, week out. Yep. And just doing the hard work and just getting the results from that? Yeah, well, the same band that we have this week will be the same band we have a couple of weeks after the contest. Excellent. That's really good. You know, we've had some issues over the last couple of years with getting a conductor. Hopefully we'll get something sorted after this competition. Yeah, because you guys had Howard Taylor there for a long time. And then sort of gone through a couple since then. And Howard's taking us for the States this year. And hopefully from then we'll have something sorted out as to who's going to take us permanently. But Excellent. So there's, you know, a, there's for a plan this competition, it's Alan Withington. It's coming out from England. Right. Um, he arrives on Tuesday, so we'll see what's been happening with our training. <laughs> Who's been training the band in the lead-up to Alan coming out? Peter Luff has been, oh, and doing a great job. Yeah, that's really good. Really nice guy. So Excelsior confident of coming, you know, top two, top three? You've got first place in the bag? You've got to be confident, but you never have first place in the bag. Yeah, yeah. There's too many good bands around.